To get the most out of the multicolor panels you design, it's important to first make sure your instrument is set up and performing correctly. Second, you need to understand the relative resolution of the fluorochromes that can be used on your instrument. The goal of panel design is to get the best resolution possible for the populations that you are investigating. The standard metric for measuring fluorochrome resolution is the stain index, which is the difference in fluorescence intensity of the positive and negative populations, divided by two times the robust standard deviation of the negative population. How you set the gains, that is, PMT voltages on your instrument, can affect the stain index, and therefore the resolution that you get from each fluorochrome. In these examples, you can see the impact of increasing the PMT voltage for the PIPSI and BV421 detectors by 100 volts. While the MFI of the negative cells is increased, the overall resolution as measured by the stain index has significantly improved by two and a half to five fold respectively. A simple rule for determining a good PMT voltage is to adjust the voltage until the robust standard deviation of the negative cells is two and a half to three times the electronic noise for the detector. The electronic noise can be obtained from the CSMT reports for the instrument. If you don't know the electronic noise, you can still optimize your detector to maximize resolution by performing what is called a voltage titration. To do this, run a sample such as anti-CD4 stain cells or capture beads at different voltages and calculate the stain index at each voltage. The goal is to use the lowest PMT voltage that will maximize the stain index. Above this PMT setting, there is no improvement in the stain index. In this example, the detector should be set to approximately 600 volts. At this voltage, the robust standard deviation of the negative cells is, as expected, two and a half times the electronic noise. When making these adjustments, always make sure that your expected positive populations remain on scale. Once you have determined the correct gain settings for your cytometer, you can determine the relative brightness, that is, the resolution provided by all the fluorochromes available for that cytometer. Here, you can see the ranking of fluorochromes showing the stain index of cells stained with different anti-CD4 reagents on a five laser, 18 parameter analyzer. This information can prove valuable for pairing fluorochromes with antigens when designing your panel. Keeping these concepts in mind will help you better understand your instrument's performance and facilitate the panel design process. To learn more, visit bdbiosciences.com.